First day of the Favos Gift Cup in Chesme, and all of the 16 teams arrived at Chesme Marina in order to prepare their boats and tune their equipment. 29er XX is a very competitive boat. It requires a lot of skills to perform well in this skiff, and all of the girls know it. They are ready to sail to the limits in order to win the trophy at the Favos Skiff Cup. The 29er XX is a, a skiff high performance boat, uh, which you sail two persons in trapezes. It's very fun, quick, fast, exciting and fun to watch. It's nice and it's high performance and therefore it's of course a bit dangerous. Riding a 29er XX is exciting but very dangerous at the same time. One wrong movement can lead to a capsize. That means losing precious meters, and all the girls have to be very careful while racing. Chesme is a wonderful place for sailing. Sunny weather with a lot of wind is the best combination for close battle racing. The weather conditions, they will be very nice. So therefore we have looked very much forward to come here. It's warm, it's nice, it's sunny, it's windy. Tomorrow is going to be the first day of the competition, and the girls can expect gusty and windy weather. The concept of this wonderful event brings the race inside the marina. 16 teams are going to compete next to the shore, and hundreds of people will gather to see them. Stay tuned with the Favos Gift Cup and the qualification races. Second day of the Favos Gift Cup in Chesme, and all the girls started their day relaxing under the sun before the qualification races. At 1500 hours, the first couple started racing, and tens of people gathered to see the girls in their close-up battles. Twenty-four races in the same course area. Every pair has to sell the first short loop, and then a second loop before finishing between the boy and the race committee. Extreme maneuvers, fast sailing and hiking to the limits. What a great combination. It's so exciting to see these skiffs racing next to the shore in this unique course area. However, for the girls, it was really difficult to sail safe. Among them, Team Locker of Luis and Caroline didn't manage to drop the spinnaker, and they capsized whilst rounding the downwind mark. That gave a clear lead to the duo of Jewel and Lotta, who won easily. At the same time, Rebecca and Teresha tried to overpass their opponents at the last downwind. But Jenna and Katya performed well and won it at the end. The races continued until late, and more and more people came to admire the 32 girls in Chesme Marina. What a wonderful spectacle! Let's have a look at the results. 
Still seven races to go for the qualifications tomorrow, and then the two best teams of each group will compete in the finals for the precious trophy at the Favos Gift Cup. Stay tuned. Third and final day of the Favos Gift Cup in Chesme, and the 16 teams gathered early in the morning in the marina. 32 girls ready to sail to the limits and fight hard in order to qualify for the finals. At 11 o'clock, the qualification races started with strong and shifty wins. Nobody could know who would win. After the last seven races of the qualifications, the two best teams of each group qualified for the finals. Let's have a look at the results. Who will win the precious trophy? Four couples ready to sail. Who will go to the semi-finals? Lillian and Kristin sailed against Lynn and Stein, and they both chose the pin side of the start. But Lillian and Kristin did not start well and lost precious meters. However, during downwind, they managed to sail fast and they came very close to the win. Then the duo of Lynn and Stein chose the left side of the course and tried to secure their lead winning the race in front of all the girls. <laughs> At the same time, Helen and Anne sailed against Sinim and Hannah. They both started well and sailed to the limits, but close to the downwind mark, they both had a terrible capsize. Who would win? Sinem and Hannah remained calm and managed to keep the lead until the end. This brought them to race against the duo of Lynn and Stein. In the most exciting race of the day, Sinem and Hannah were lucky enough to see their rivals capsizing on the finishing line. At the same time, the duo of Hotel Royale won the precious trophy in a really fast race in front of a crowd of people gathered to admire them. <laughs> 